It's time for our regional story. Last Day's Fam is a Christian hip-hop group that released their debut album, Official Streets, in 2008. The distinctive thing about the group is that they've been predominantly active in the secular market as opposed to the gospel market. The main reason for this is that they want to get to the unreached and the unchurched with the gospel. Let's meet this dynamic group now. <music> Last Days Fam is a musical outfit that is transforming South African hip-hop, infusing it with a spiritual and socially conscious message. The group is made up of four Tembisa artists who are also bonded by their born-again Christian background. Um, Last Days Fam is made up of four group members, um, of which I'm one of them. My name is Tabang Bale. The other three members are Tapelompai, Tsepo Shabangu and Tembeli Um Besides the fact that we are a hip-hop group, um, we like to look at ourselves as people of positive influence to the community, you know. Um, the reason why we chose hip-hop or the reason why Last Days Fam really came about, it was out of a desire to spread the love that we've received through our faith walk. When we say Last Days Fam, um, it's not a declaration of doom per se, but it's actually um, a way for us to show the importance of valuing one's time on earth, you know. Unkulunkulu, unumtali, wezulunumshaba, and unkulunkulu futi, we owner is cut. So, time determines longevity. Time determines the, the level of impact that you have on, on other people. You know, time is really the source of everything. So when you say last day's fam, we're talking about people need to be conscious of the time that God has given them on earth and uh, they need to utilize it wisely. The group began their epic journey the moment they dared to grab the hip-hop industry bull by the horns and challenge the accepted norms in the genre. They rose above the standard hip-hop format to produce a fresh, modern and exciting gospel-propelled hip-hop sound. In the era that we grew up in, hip-hop was popular. You know, uh, it was... Uh, like a ways and means of young people to sort of like express themselves was a, a voice you know for them so like it sort of like had a major impact in our lives and we de we, we sort of like uh, closely relate to hip-hop and we decided to use it as a medium because we know that it's, it is used for negative uh, like most of the times but we believe that it can be used for like a positive because words have power and they can impact people's lives uh, our message they convey uh, love peace faith and eternal life and more, more importantly our life experiences you know like and how one needs to have a balance in in the society that we live in because we encounter a whole lot of problems so one needs to have a, a spiritual balance so our, 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 our songs like they focus more on that and also uh, like you know f focusing the attention on, on God as well you know that you know in order for one to to have a, a stability in life you need to to have you know like a spiritual connection with God we want to be the alternative to the drug-infested, you know, um, uh, alcohol-promoting, you know, sex-promoting type of content. Uh, we want to be the alternative to the misogynistic lyrics, uh, destructive and often very pretentious sort of uh, um, um, notions that are represented by our music. When a person listens to our music, we want to have an impact on them that lasts longer than the session that he's listening to the music. So it should create an atmosphere in his life or her life um, that actually makes them think a little bit harder about who they are, what they're doing, what they're doing it for. Uh. Yeah, yo, out of my heart flows the rivers which is from the world to fade the same nations for the cold to break the norms that were formed to enslave, rape me, shape changing. I was born of the spirit on my pages, heart raising, got me given the limb of a star, facing prophets in the streets. We hard up in rugging and beast, we're touching the hearts of a reach and knocking the rock in the heat. The voice of the people that be heard. When we started, all we had was a desire and a sense of urgency. That's really all we had. So, from desire to product was a long walk. 
you know um and every step of the way we had to trust and place all our full confidence in god who we believe um is the source behind everything that we are yeah and um because when we reflect in retrospect we can see that we made it this far because